You've learned about the different equations related to gas laws, basing from the variables, okay? So I believe that there were a lot of information that, that you've learned and it's loaded on your part. So we, your science teachers, would like to provide you this mnemonic strategy or the strategy, a strategy that will help you recall these equations. And of course, you can use this if you would like to push through science courses and you're going to have basic chemistry, okay? So I hope that this will help. Always remember, even in your, if you're going to study, come up with your own mnemonics, okay? This will help improve your memory of important information. And of course, it make use, it's, it's making use of letters, visual cues, Okay, for you to recall. Now, um, this strategy or the, the, the mnemonics that will be presented, that we will be presenting to you is not our own. We had seen this in the internet, okay? So we just would like to share. Now, let's start with um, how can you recall all those gas loss equations is a way to remember gas loss equations so we will be using letters so we have um c t g p b and v so we will be putting words into these letters as your guide okay can oops Can these guys possibly um, be victorious? These words and letters, okay, will represent the things that we have learned in the relationship of gas loss. So C stands for Charles's law. Then T or these represents temperature, and G for Gay-Lussac's law, and P for pressure, B for Boyle's law, oops, and V for volume. So remember these words, can these guys possibly be victorious okay so we will be using a diagram here as to represent uh, the relationship as well or the mathematical relationship okay oops is it now let me erase the thing first okay one more okay so we have here Okay, and then um, we will divide the inverted triangle into three parts, okay? So we will use this underline, we will use a line. This line represents division, okay? Then we'll be using a vertical line. This will represent multiplication, okay? Then we will assign the letters. So we have um, C, can, these, guys possibly be victorious and we will put all those variables in the inverted triangle so this is p we write here v and we write here t now how does this help so b represents boyle's law and boyle's law it's an inverse relationship okay and you've learned the mathematical representation of that that's multiplying, that's multiplying P and V, right? So therefore, we have P1, V1 is equal to P2, oops. Let me clear that for a while. So we have P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2, right? Then for Charles' law, 
we have the relationship between volume and temperature, okay? So we divide it in the mathematical representation. So we have here, Charles's law is volume one, V1, T over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, okay? Then you've learned also in our lesson about um, de Lussac's, the relationship is between pressure and temperature. So we have here the gay Lussac's or gay Lussac is, is pressure P1 over P1 equals to P2 over T2, right? So we have the three laws. And we combine, we combine all these laws, okay? Remember, we had combined all these laws, okay? What do we get? The combined gas law. And we've learned that P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2. So that's it, dear students. Please make use of this as your guide, okay? To recall those gas loss equations that we had presented.